Donald Sutherland has died after a long, beautiful life and an illustrious career. Um, just what an actor. I remember him in MASH, in Ordinary People, and in um, Hunger Games. Lots of film, lots of TV. Amazing, amazing uh, actor and person. And I wanted to share with you his chart today. So, hi, I'm Lydia, and this is the Feng Shui and Bazi Chinese Astrology Channel. Often I do like to read the charts of famous people because I think it helps us to understand our own charts and our own lives. So Donald Sutherland was born July 17th, 1935. We adjust for daylight savings time. He's from uh, Canada, 1030 in the morning. He's born a Yinwood pig year, a Yin water sheep month, a Yang wood horse day, and a yin earth snake hour. So right off the bat, it's people born the year of the pig, love luxury, love being um, uh, in the lap of luxury, enjoying all the yumminess of life. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean wealth. It can just mean someone that really savors all the yumminess and then surrounds themselves with beauty. Pigs are also very easy to get along with. Um, and the day of a horse, especially a yang horse, because that, I mean, the yang wood horse, because the wood is feeding that fire. And this is someone who is passionate, who is independent, puts everything he has into his work. And um, just such spontaneous energy, active, active. And then the hour is yin earth snake, showing that he brings a lot of intuition and ingenuity into his craft of his work. And um, so as we look at this amazing career that he had, this is someone who really loved what he did and got a lot of joy out of acting. It did provide for him wealth and opportunity and privilege. His uh, work also at times challenged him. And um, brought him in and out of relationships. Relationships seemed to be tangled into his work. I don't know how. I don't know his life inside and out. Um, but there is kind of a, a piece about, like there is all this money flowing from all different resources, like different veins of income coming in from his career. Um, and yeah, that there is changeability, that there is, you know, it can end here and start there. It can be one thing and then another thing. And um but, you know, someone that's born like the horse is so vibrant, just such a passionate person. Now, in his chart, we have a snake, we have a horse, and we have the sheep. And the three of those together make a full fire trio. This chart, I would say, is too dry and too hot. Even though his fire element is only 16%, that full trio really bumps it up. Now, he is a wood person, balanced at 26%. The resource, what nourishes his wood, water, is 16%. And like I said, his output, what he creates, 16%. But again, that full fire trio is bumping it up. Now, it's interesting because his year and his hour conflict with each other. The pig is yang water and the snake is yang fire. And so that is a clash. And that's challenging. So the water is challenging the fire. But what wins is the fire trio. So the water loses. What does that mean? Well, it means that um, he doesn't have as much of support as he probably really needs. His earth is really strong, super strong, 33%. And there's hardly any metal, maybe 2%. Now, I know that they said that he died after a long illness. My guess is that this could be cancer because 
hot dry charts, we've seen this before, shows um, the condition in which cancer thrives in hot dry astrology charts. Um, this man was extremely smart, a, a creative genius and um, very creative, very innovative and incredible work ethic. I'm sure he was very enjoyable to work with. He was um, an honest, honest person, you know, and his success, you know, true success stands on the shoulders of people who um, have that work ethic that is honest and true. And um, so he also was a dreamer, right? Somebody that um, could imagine, which I would imagine, which I would imagine is needed to be an actor because you've got to imagine yourself in these new different roles. And somebody that probably will marry more than once. And I'm sure that he did. I know that he did. Lots of romance and socializing. And then the last piece that I wanted to mention about his astrology with his personality is very communicative, bold voice, right? Big, strong voice. What a presence. I think he was six foot four, which I would have thought he was actually taller the way that he stood. It was like a, I mean, he's Yang Wood. He really is like a tree. Um, very, like communication is really his thing. He also was witty. He had a good sense of humor. So when we drill down into where he was in his life, his last luck cycle that he entered into was started in 2018 and is a Yang Wood dog. So when we are looking at putting together the pieces of why someone dies or why someone gets sick, we look at where your current luck cycle is. And then we look at the current year that we're in and see if there is something there. And I've spoken before in some of my other videos about what I call cracks, you know, where you have a conflict here or something here. And after a while, it's like there's too many of those and life can fall apart or we get sick or we die or we're injured. Something big happens, right? So he's in this time of a Yang Wood dog. The Yang Wood obviously speaks directly to him. Therefore, this is a time that is very much the spotlight is on him and his sovereignty. And behind that, in the dog, is a real focus on health, money, and um it's interesting that that health piece is sitting behind, kind of like, you know, here he is, this tremendous presence, and that's very much forward and visible, right? But behind the scenes, there is a health concern brewing, all right? And tucked into that is family and his work, because I think he was still making movies in 2018, and change. Something is changing. Something's going on. Now, we take that dog and we come to 2024. And now we have a Yang Wood dragon. And the dragon and the dog, we know, or well enough into this year to know that these two are not friends. These are enemies. So if somebody has been sick, according to this luck cycle, and the years have gone by, we're now several years into this luck cycle, and he's been struggling with his health. Well, this is the final blow, right? This is where the crack becomes too much. The arrival of the dragon year, I'm sure that he declined rapidly throughout this year. Um, it's the the dragon is speaking because they're both yang earth animals the dog and the dragon so it is like two forces banging up against each other and it's highlighting his health it's like his health is literally and 
and um yeah and then it's um recognizing that within that there is this nurturing this care so i would imagine that he's had a lot of caretakers around him is what it feels like to me and he's also this is a transition of self literally a transitioning self leaving life and um interesting that the month that he died was the month of a horse speaking of change speaking of property and speaking of you know his his estate you know, all of his his property and his money there's a lot of change wrapped around that and that the day he died was a yin wood rabbit which is all about loss and it is a loss of the self it is a change of identity. Now, you know, in some circumstances, I would say that's like an actor putting on a new mask, a new role to play. And, you know, seeing this, it's such a beautiful thing to see. I don't know that I've actually had this moment of recognizing this, but the day that he died was very much him taking on a new persona as a soul who has been freed from the human form and no longer is sick and no longer is in this heavy suit that we wear and he is in the ethers free and what a celebration of his life that he had a beautiful long life and so much success so much joy, so much goodness. And I think, you know, that's one of the most important things, I think, when someone dies, is to remember them for the best that they were, to honor their legacy, not to pick apart or focus on all the mistakes, because none of us are perfect. I know in my grief journey, after losing my father, um, that, you know, no, he was no great, perfect father. But at the end of the day, what would serve me better? Certainly to focus on the beautiful aspects of him and my relationship with him. And in that, it actually makes the grieving a little more dear, a little more tender and sweet um and less bitter and angry right um anyway i just wanted to share this little video about donald sutherland with you i hope you found it interesting i welcome your comments and i look forward to seeing you soon be well